hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or they're coming to pay you a visit. Porky's Corner is proud to be sponsored by Spartan Site Solutions. They are specialists in civil engineering and demolition contracts for the construction industry. Interested parties should visit their website or contact Porky's Corner for a referral at porkycorner at mail.com. Hello all you hardcores out there, how are you doing? It's Russ here from Porky's Corner, biggest gob in sport. Got a treat for you today, backed by popular demand, all the way from Bury to Rotherham. It's Big Dan. How are you doing, Dan? Fantastic. May I just say, I love your office. Do you? It reminds me of James English when I was on his. <laughs> does it? Yeah, it does. He's better than James English is, yeah. Yeah, he's glad to have me down anyway. Yeah, how are you? Yeah, I think he's good, yeah. I've not been to Rotherham for years. I've had to Rotherham, we wrecked it. Did you? What City, happened? City Ligans, weren't we? Man City? 15 years ago, yeah, full of ways. We come up here and we wrecked the place. We got the train home. Did you win? Did I win? What? I won. No, the did game win? What? I don't know, I didn't even get in. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, good time, good laugh, yeah, but thanks for inviting me. I thought I'd come up and give the, the punters what they want. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to talk to you about Zang. What, what's happening with him? Who's big Zang? He's making iPads in it now. <laughs> He's been put away in the Chinese factory, whipping everybody. He'll <laughs> <laughs> you know, bang them all, big Zang. <laughs> Is he going to box again? <laughs> not until after Christmas, because there's a big demand. Yeah. But uh, no, I hope he does. He's a, big, uh, he's a big tough bloke, isn't he? Do you think they're parking him up like they did Lewis Ortiz? Definitely, he's parked up and he's parked up and he's like a Kia. What's happening with Joe Joyce now, though? Is his ear still Are you chugging off? <laughs> I don't know. There's a big market for these boxes, isn't there? Really, there's a big, there's a lot of them out now, isn't there? But there's not a lot with top class. Do you know what I mean? There's only three or four you could say are on the level. Yeah. All the rest of them are European. There's no money Europeans, is there? What do you think to uh, Joe Joyce's bone density, Dan? Bone density. He had he had bone density six times stronger than the average yeah, man. Yeah, he, he looks like a dinosaur, doesn't he? Yeah. You could find Joe Joyce in three thousand years, couldn't you, in the cemetery? Well, it's flat. <laughs> You'll find Joe Joyce's leg somewhere, won't you? <laughs> not going anywhere, that fella, is it? Tyrannosaurus. You think he's shot to bits? <laughs> he's not. I think. Where did you come back from? What did you do? Where did you come back? He's How does he come back now? <sighs> It'd be European, won't it? Can he drop down to British? You think? Well, would you like to see Joe Joyce against Fabio Wardley? Mm, yeah, it'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be mm. alright, yeah, it'd be good for the Southerners, won't it? Yeah, Or yeah. the nice Southern people. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, Anthony Joshua, do you think he's parked up, Dan? Yeah, he's, he'd, be, he'd, be a, he'd be a bouncer, won't he, in Soho. He's, uh, I don't know, he, he wants him really now. He commands a massive fee, doesn't he? Yeah. But what are you getting for your money? Yeah. You know, it's like going to Chester Zoo, isn't it? It's loads of money. Yeah. Once you've seen it once, you've seen it all the time, haven't you? Yeah, do you go to Chester Zoo a lot? No, I don't, know. <laughs> do you go to Cheshire or show? Cheshire. Oh, with uh, the big fella. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't been there, no. I might go to Appleby, though. Yeah? No, I couldn't chance it. I'd probably get chased and kicked up the arse and thrown off, wouldn't I? <laughs> uh, is Billy Joe coming back, Dan? No, who cares? Don't you know care what? about that man at all. That no? man. Don't care. Who cares about Billy Joe? Yeah. Might be bothered if you don't like me. I don't care about Billy Joe. He doesn't bring anything to my table. Yeah. No salt and pepper with Joe with me. No. I don't. I mean, does anybody really bother? Is that really good people? Boxers in about him. There's no interest in him. Yeah. Yeah. I see where you're coming. Do you know from. what I mean? You don't. I've never heard of a Billy Joe Saunders fan club. Have you? 
Uh, his skill set, yeah, but I always think he's let himself down outside the ring and yeah, alienated himself. Yeah, he's still himself, he? and all that stuff. And mm. Everything about him is not good. There's no vibe, is there? No good vibe. Yeah, okay. Uh, do you feel that Johnny Nelson's come out in his shell a bit since he said he left Sky? You think Johnny? <laughs> I think he has, do you? Yeah. He does, he's, he's doing a lot of shows, isn't he? Yeah. He is, he, he has a good living on, on the uh, black tie circuit, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, you MC know. working there. Yeah, he does, he's good though, he's a nice fella, he's just got an eye on him, has he got a sir or something? He's, uh, no, he's got a uh, MBE, he's a member of the British Empire. Yeah, I've seen some pictures of him and his family, his daughters and his mother, I think it was, he looked, look, look a nice family. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, I like Johnny. No, no bad words about Johnny. I don't think anybody has, has it? He's, he's come, come out of his shell a bit, hasn't he? Obviously, I had a bit of an issue with Johnny when he were at, when, uh, Eddie Earn were at Sky because Johnny would always come out with these mad one-liners like Tackham's like Holyfield and George Foreman rolled into one and Tony Bellew's better technically than Usek, you know, things like that and he did send me cr crazy. No, he does quite a few, a bit more. I don't know he, does. he done now though. He did on the big set that he did, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Been on the lights, kind of action. I think he was after that woman, presenting him, wasn't he? They, they were after Lombard, what? That Lombard who's uh, asking all questions. Anna Woolhouse? Yeah, I heard some of it. Do you like her, Dan? Do I like her? No. <laughs> Two. Is that him, Anna Woolhouse? Don't you like skinny birds? <laughs> Sometimes you've got no choice, have you? Depends <laughs> what time you're in. Yeah. So, uh, What's happening with kickboxing? Aren't you doing it no, no more? No, I've been boxing. Uh, no, he fought it one. No, no, I don't bother. Yeah. No, I still swim, boxing. My lads have got boxing. He fought it week one. Uh, so yeah, just concentrating on that. Really concentrating on health. Yeah. Health and happiness. Don't you miss going out and uh, tying one on, Dan? Do I? Do I? Uh, not a chance in the world. No. Who does really? Who wants to live that life? I've done it for twenty years. Yeah. Not me. Yeah. It gives me cringes thinking about it. Would you like to do it again? I've done all that, haven't I? Like... I've done it all, I've wrote the book. Yeah, yeah. What, up at window all night looking out blind? Yeah, switching. <laughs> Watching half the very police coming down your street on cameras. <laughs> <laughs> what, you're filming them? I've got it all on camera, yeah, yeah, I'm filming them, yeah. In your loft. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> yeah. I've got to say, oh, I tell you, I'll show you anyway. I'll put it, you can put it on screen actually after this. Put some, I've got half, half the very police at my house, 30 hour coppers, tasering me. Never. I swear to God, yeah. But, a name in the past. Yeah. Now we'll go to the future, that's why. Uh, yeah, I see you with your bottle of water and that. Yeah, you uh... can smell it if you want. Hey? You can smell it if you want. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah. No, I bet Frank's proud of you, isn't he? Hey, big Frank. Yeah, he's alright, he's busy, isn't he? Frank, he's, uh, he's got his head under an E-type jag, I think, taking an axle off. Oh, today? Yeah. Is he? Yeah, oh, on the street, that. on the street. Oh, I, I thought his knee had gone. No, <laughs> he can't get up. <laughs> He's been on the car for three days. Has he? Well, yeah. What about his dog? He's helping him, passing him wrenches. Oh, <laughs> you old man. He's all right. Come on. Uh, okay, uh, brick tops on top of his perch. What do you think? He's doing well. He's doing brilliant, isn't he? He's absolutely milking it. He's the Del Boy. He's like, he's like Del Boy going into the pub, isn't he, with loads of gold chains, isn't he? Yeah. He's absolutely selling it to everybody. He's loving it. And why not? He's done all right. He's not that Eddie off his perch, isn't he? Yeah. That's what everyone wanted to see. Yeah, look at Eddie on his perch. He's really Where is it? Eddie's crying, isn't he, is Eddie? Is that me? No, that's Tyson. No, that's Eddie's crying on that billboard. Look at him there, he looks, he looks all the way. He looks like he's had a session there, doesn't he? Oh, Eddie? Yeah. <laughs> looks like you used to look. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how's Scott Quigg doing? Is he alright? He's alright, yeah. He's had his hair cut. He's had his hair cut? Yeah. <laughs> Hasn't he? Yeah. Did he go like George Groves? <laughs> <laughs> he does get a still sort of quiz, yeah. George Groves went from having a cue ball to a... George Groves? I've seen him the other day. He's bought a bit of weight, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got a Teddy McDermott perm. I am not. <laughs> What are the other two these love? Does he, did he actually think people won't know? Do you know what I mean? Well, I don't understand it in your hair, do It's like, you see him one day, he's like shopping in Clark shoes, yeah. and then a month after he's got a big head of hair, you know, you're know, you going to ask him, aren't you? You're yeah. going to say, what, what's happened to your hair? Aren't you? You're just going to look, he's, he's tough, aren't you? <laughs> Why do people do it? Is it me? I'm bold, me, you know, and that's yeah. it. But if I come out with like an old Hogan, you're going to look at it, aren't you? Yeah. An old cock. That was bad idea. But you know what? I don't understand why I do it. Anybody who's got hair transplants, I respect you. No problem, but it's not for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I come out looking like the Undertaker, wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Chris Eubank Jr. and uh, Connor Ben. Are they going to fight? Of because gonna fight. Eddie's just come out today and he said Eubank's not signed. 
they're gonna find it's money. Yeah. Where else are they gonna go? Yeah. Where else are they gonna go? Who else are they gonna find? Where you know? Yeah, they've got that much time invested into it. I like it. Eubank, I think he's fantastic. He's yeah. a great, skillful, good choice. He could go to America and pull it off. Yeah. Do you feel though, Dan, that uh, we've, uh, hey, we're, there's, we haven't learned anything from Kelbrook Golovkin putting Ben in with Eubank? No. Because Eubank fought at 168, mm. he's going to fight him at 160. Ben's a small, light, a small welter. He's probably yeah, well, a, a welter, a light welter. That's where the money is, isn't it? That firm too. Where else could they both go? Where else could they go, really? You know, can they go to America? Food banks. Food banks. Who, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Big Chris? <laughs> <laughs> big Chris who? Hey, Eubank. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he's having a tough time financially, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. What did you think to the show at the weekend, the Chantel Cameron against Katie Taylor? I believe it was fantastic. Yeah. The, 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 the Irish still love it, don't they? Yeah. To be honest, they haven't got any football teams, have they, to go at? No. So, well, no, they haven't, have they? So, you know, boxing to them in their own time, they've not got a lot going on, have they? Really? No. They've got a bit of rugby going on, but when they get the boxing, they put it on, and I believe it was a fantastic fight. I don't know any teams over there, isn't the banger? Isn't that a good I've team? I've done that, have you? <laughs> <laughs> No, but there's not, is there? But, no. You know when they put it on. But I believe it's a really good. I think that Kate. I think that Kate should quit now because I think she's that was she's overstepped it a bit now. Yeah. They're all about a rematch, aren't they? Mm. And I don't think it should happen. No. No, she looks a bit old, that Kate now. Does she? Yeah. To me, she does. She looks a bit aged. She's really she thirty-eight now. She really looked young anyway when she started. Have you seen that message that Eddie Hearn put on? No. What's he put? The load of, biggest load of rubbish I've seen in my life. He put. He tweeted or put a Facebook uh, thing on of when Katie Taylor. T messaged him when he first, she first started boxing saying I'd like to turn professional please and he put it on saying look I've just found this message load of rubbish it was embarrassing really what he put on what did he put? he put no she put she put on a message saying hi Eddie it's Katie the boxer I would like to be the first fit professional female uh, world champion and he's texted back he said he's, he found out his phone from 10 years ago or whatever rubbish yeah staged staged uh, would you like to see a fight Natasha Jonas and them both go off into the sunset? Yeah, I think Natasha, she does, deserves a good pair there because she's a good person. I like good people, mate. Yeah, you know, yeah. I really like she's a good person, no bad stories about her. Get her they have a real good fight and both go off. Yeah. You know, both go out and do whatever they do, you know. Uh, she's got a good trainer, Natasha. Yeah, who, Joe? Joe G. Yeah, big Joe. Yeah, nice fella again. Yeah, yeah got a great. I hope, yeah, she, she's underrated her. She never gets the. The line, like, I think because she comes from Liverpool, there's a lot of good boxers in Liverpool, isn't there? Yeah. So I think she's always like, like Katie Taylor's from Ireland boxer. How many more is there yeah. really going? It's yeah. not, is there? Do you think Darren Till will turn pro as a boxer? I mean, when he's no, looking never. at it now? Never. No? No, he won't make it. Don't, won't he? No. No. How would he make it? Well, he's, he's been a, an MMA fighter. Yeah, I know, he? but he's been an MMA fighter, but it doesn't mean. I, I can run 10 miles, but I can't swim for 10 miles, can I? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I don't think. I, I, he won't make it. What level will he be? Yeah, yeah. When will you start fighting? Yeah, yeah. What journeyman fight? level. Journeyman level. I'll five fights and then go to Riyadh. Go to Riyadh. Yeah, that's Riyadh. what they're doing. Huh? That's all they're planning for. Five fight, then off in sunset, private jet. Yeah. Uh, Paul Smith's his advisor from Liverpool now, Darren Till. Yeah. <laughs> Paul Smith. Yeah, I like him too. Paul Smith. Well, yeah. I don't know. He blocked me when I wished him well against Andre Ward. I said, "Good luck, uh, Paul." Yeah. And I got blocked. I met him. I met when we went and met Mayweather. I met him and his brothers. It seemed all right. Nice mm -hmm. people again. You know. Yeah. How do you see Callum doing against Arthur Beaver? Not very well. No. No. No at all. No, I think his last fight, big payday, sunset again. Yeah. Sunset, fast cars, bigger house, nicer pool. That's the way that's going. I think. Do you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, by by majority. Yeah, by a big difference. Yeah. Big different class, different characters, different training camps, everything. Mm. Different trainers. Yeah. You know, there's complete there's no level in them to, for me. I and mean, I never usually wrong. Like last time I was on I said Fury will get down knocked down early, didn't I? And get you did, up, you did say that. I did yeah. say that. I'm not I'm quite good on my boxing knowledge and there's no even not even no comparison for me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean that Tyson's uh, just been out for a couple of drinks with Isaac Lowe in Morecambe. Do you think he's is that right preparation for Usyk? There's nothing wrong with that, but why pick Morecambe? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? All that money you've got, you want to go drinking in Morecambe in your tracksuit. Why? You know, I will not want to go to Morecambe. Nothing wrong with Morecambe, it's nice, but I won't want to go drinking in my own town, would you? No. You'll be firing off somewhere else, wouldn't you? Yeah. And pretend you're going on work. And pretend you're in a camp? Yeah, you'll be on a camp, won't you? Camp tight, wherever you want. Yeah. But you won't be in the local Robert Peel, would you, having a few, would you? 
No. Do you think that the February 17th show might get put back till end of March? No, I thought, I thought it was definitely on because I was going to book uh, flights over there for me and my son until you said that. Mm. If that's true. It well, might. the Riyadh season ends at end of March, so I'm looking at what it the like this. Do you think it might be the blockbuster before end of March? Well, this is how I look at it, right? You're going to need a 10 week camp anyway, and he'll need a couple of weeks on his own just to knock some weight off, won't he, before he starts camp. So that's 12 weeks, so that's three months. Now, if, it's, if he's had a beer this week, three months from now is end of Feb. So he's, I think he's doing it all wrong. I'd look at March, me. No, I think there's Christmas be... to come as well. There's like Tyson like his Christmas turkey. <laughs> It'd be a big turkey, won't it? Like that house, won't it? Yeah, well, big shame be eating some turkey. <laughs> They'll have to lock up all the turkeys, won't they, Lancashire? <laughs> they call it Bernie Matthews, won't they? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Well, there be no cranberry sauce left in Neto. All of his face. <laughs> oh, kids will be licking it off. <laughs> no, I'm still on for the end of Feb. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm still on for it. I think, I think you'll. I, think, I don't think you can do it again, can we? Uh, no. Do you think it was out of order them not letting Big John go to press conference? <laughs> Captain no, Chaos. I no, I don't do. I mean. I, I feel sorry for Big Walt. Do you? Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and ask. Uh, I'm gonna go get a John Fury dinner after. What? A John Fury dinner. What's one of them? A, a sausage roll hard on the outside and soft in the middle. <laughs> 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 no, I don't. I think yeah, I like John. He's my pal. But I think he, everything he gets, he calls it. But he's doing well out of it. It looks yeah. like I, I seen the other day. He's Lovely little trim, it looks like Charles Bronson, doesn't it? He's got, he had this grey goatee and round glasses on, you know, like Matrix. You no, know, like a bloke who's doing life in prison, he'll never get out. Yeah, Charlie Bronson. Yeah, that's what he looks like. Yeah, yeah. Old Charles, Charles Fury Bronson. Yeah. But he's, yeah. <laughs> no, he's crackers, isn't he? Wait, he's, he's, good, he's good to talk about, isn't he? Yeah, do you and see? You ask anybody, I'm John Fury, everyone knows him, he's done his job, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. You know, when he used to pull up here, <laughs> car with different colour wings. <laughs> Well, like a local bin truck, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he's done well. Yeah. He said he's done well, hasn't he? The machine's done well. Yeah. But I can't call him because I live near him and yeah. I, I get, I get, phew, they're all set on me if they won't do, but yeah, but he's, he's all right, John. Yeah, you like John, yeah, don't you? Yeah, I like John. John's my pal and he's good to have a laugh with, isn't he? He'll laugh about. <laughs> 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 do you know what I mean? 